Hello and welcome to another makeover. In today's video, we are unboxing and testing the new Too Faced uh, Appley In Love eyeshadow palette and testing out these peel off slash wipe off lipsticks and lip liners. So I originally got these two. That's the lip liner shade and that's the lipstick shade. But they ended up being pretty dark, but I liked the products. So I got these lighter shades. You know, I want to focus on one at a time. Um, why does it not want to focus? Okay. I got these lighter shades. That way I can use them for clients. Um, that way I can use them for clients. Like bridal clients, etc. So today we are going to do the darker ones because this is a fall makeup video. And yeah, let's get into the video. First thing that I'm gonna do, I always forget that I have zoom on this camera. First thing that I'm gonna do is prep my eyes with the Juvia's Place Concealer. Like I always say, you can use eyeshadow primer, concealer, foundation, whatever you have. Use what you got. I did, I was using the Juvia's Place actual eyeshadow primer for a while, but uh, I think it's basically out, so I just went back to the concealer. Any of it works, it really doesn't matter as long as you put on some sort of concealing agent and set it with some sort of powder, you'll be, you'll be doing all right. So that's all you need to do. All right, so the eyes are prepped and I just realized that I actually forgot to unbox this. This gorgeous thing. Um, so let's unbox it. Woo, we did it upside down, but shout out to Too Faced um, for these palettes because seriously, they're awesome. I mean, they're these thick, heavy metal palettes that are very, very, very high quality. Here are the stunning shades. I gotta do it that way or else it doesn't wanna focus because it's too shiny, but. Take it in for a minute. And then it has the mirror, of course. And it is scented. It's supposed to smell like caramel apples. I don't really know what the heck kind of look I even wanna do. Breen, Breen. I was gonna say green brings out my eyes. Green does really good for my eyes, so I'm thinking about doing this light green shimmer somewhere on the inside. And I don't really know what else yet, but yeah. There she is. I'm gonna kinda figure out what sort of eye look I wanna do, and then we're gonna get into it. Don't mind my eyebrow, don't know what they're doing today. All right, so we're gonna start with this shade called Caramel Apple right there. And then we're gonna go with that yellow shade and then that green glitter and I'm gonna use that glitter on the inner corner. So yeah, we're gonna start with Caramel Apple, the super light shade. There are so many pretty shadows in here. But I wanted to use the green and the yellow because they're fall colors and the green will definitely complement my eyes. And I definitely like the Too Faced um, shadows. They're super soft and easy to blend. So yeah. 
Did I get this palette because I needed, you know, more shades? No, I probably have almost every, almost like every eyeshadow color that exists. But it's fun to try like the new theme things. It's more so for the fall theme of it. And um, it's also fun for the video. You know, it's kind of boring to use the same couple eyeshadow palettes. You gotta try out new fun things. So here we are. They're just so soft and easy to blend. I would say it's definitely worth the money. I think it was like 50 something dollars. <sighs> Maybe 54 and then, you know, shipping, handling, tax, everything else. But I would say it's definitely worth the money just because of how nice the packaging is, how nice the product is. Um, you know, you don't have to buy it. I don't really care if you buy it. I don't make money off of it, but I definitely approve of it and I definitely like it and think that it's worth the money, so. And yeah, I mean, I'm always gonna be honest with like what I think about products, but I'm also probably never gonna sit here and bash makeup. First of all, just because I always end up liking the crap or I always can like find something to do with it. And also, it's just not really me. I mean, unless something's really horrible or I just really don't like it personally, I guess, but I'll still probably try it and like enjoy making the video and trying the product. So it's never really that big of a deal. All right, so I deepened that up with the yellow. And then for the glitter, we're gonna do this light green glitter right here called Slice Slice Baby. <clears throat> and then at the end, I'm gonna use this sparkly shade called Smitten for an inner corner highlight. But I'm not gonna do that to the end. I'm gonna use um, a different brush to see if I can get a little more color. That looks good. I always feel like I just tear up these palettes, these poor beautiful palettes as soon as I get them because it's not like whenever I was younger and I would get new makeup and I would be like so gentle with it and I wanna mess it up. Cause now I've been doing it for so long that it's like, I don't even care. Like <laughs> it's gonna get messed up anyways. Like I'm, I still don't just like tear it up on purpose but I'm not so careful because I know how it goes and I know how it's going to end up looking so I'm just like whatever it'll survive <laughs> yep yeah, that is really pretty and I think that the colors really go together and they really look like fall colors so that's pretty good I sleep like a baby. I never show up late for work. All right, I'm gonna do the other one. That's actually really pretty. And then I'm gonna do some liner, some lashes, some rhinestones, and yeah. All right, so I finished that. That is super stunning. And on top of that, I'm gonna add some of the Essence Multi Chrome Flakes from the last video. If you don't know what it is, it's basically this shimmery liquid stuff 
and you just put it on top of your eyeshadow and let it dry up and it's just these little sparkly flakes and you know we're trying to go extra and bold today so I thought why not add some of that on top of the glitter it might look a little weird but it could also look really cool I think it looks really cool <laughs> And then I'm gonna just hit that with the fan and do the other one and I'll be back. All right, so I just did some winged liner with the purple eyeliner. And now for the rhinestones, we're gonna use these little black rhinestones I have to put above the winged liner. Whoops. So I'm just using lash glue. You can also get like a special glue for this, but you can also just use like the lash glue. Whatever you have will work, but you just put the glue on, let it kind of sit for a second. Oh, I just lost my rhinestone. <laughs> Pick up your rhinestone. Set it up there. I feel like these are the perfect colors too because I feel like black, purple, um, and orange are fall colors, good fall colors. So I feel like this is pretty good. All right, now for mascara, we're using the L'Oreal mascara and I'm just gonna do the top lashes for right now. And then I'm going to throw the bottom lashes on and we're going to get on with the face makeup. Did I just say throw the bottom lash on? I don't know what I just said, but I mean throw the lashes on. The regular lashes. I don't really know what I'm talking about today. Let's be honest. I don't really know what I'm talking about most times. But... There's that eye, and we gonna do the other one. There's that one, and then I will be back once I um, throw the lashes on. I've been wanting to try these black rhinestones for a while, so finally did it because I keep seeing them in my little thing, and I'm like, I gotta try those. So yeah, I almost forgot, but the lashes that I'm gonna be using are the baby doll lashes from my website. That one fell off, but um, these ones, they're... There's four different styles on my website. They're all $6. And, um, I forget what else I wanted to say. Oh, my website, here they are. My website is linked in my bio, in my link tree. It has all the links and if you click the one that says shop here, you can order from there. So yeah, make sure you order your lashes. All right, y'all, we got the eyelashes on. I don't know why eyelashes always look 
different. Like I feel like this one looks more like pointy. I don't know, and this one's more soft and fanned out. I really don't know. I, I really don't know why or understand why. It's just how it looks. Anyway, we're gonna prep the skin and get on with the face. So, first thing is the Hard Candy um, Body Illuminizer. <sighs> oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm gonna just put some of that all over. Um, and then some of the Clinique Moisturizer. Okay, why do I not know what I'm doing today? I don't know. I really don't know. Okay. <laughs> and I'm gonna just rub both of those in all over to prep my skin. Just wanna let y'all know, I just put a makeup video out and I'm gonna be dropping a um, new podcast soon. I also just bought another podcast mic. That way I can, um, have other people join me on the podcast and not just be me. Not just have me on it. Um, so yeah. I'm gonna try to work on building the podcast and making it better, making it more interesting. I only put out one episode so far just because I've been so freaking busy. I literally cannot even believe that I only put one out because it feels like I've done more. And I've literally been saying how like, I literally just filmed another one actually, I just didn't upload it yet, but I literally said on that one how like, I'm not quitting it. I The reason that I only did one was just because I've been so busy. I haven't had like the time to film another one. Um, and then I just had my mom ask me the other day, she's like, are you done with your podcast? Aren't you doing it anymore? And I'm like, no, I'm like, I just have not been home. Like we have not been home for me to um, film any or upload any. I went on two, life's just been crazy recently because I went on two beach trips, okay? Like literally back to back. And then um, went to my sister's, stayed with my sister for a few days right after the second beach trip. Um, and then this past weekend, my sister came and stayed up here and um, we were busy all weekend. Saturday, we went out to a truck show in Convoy and we went to my Graham's house and um, just been very freaking busy. So podcast is not over it was not a one hit wonder um that one was not even a hit so let's not even say that but um it's not over i just have not had the time to film or upload any so i do have one coming at you soon and then i will be filming some more and adding some more people and topics and things to the podcast but just haven't been able to yet so make sure you stay on the lookout my nose is so dry right now. Okay, now that I'm looking awful ghostly, we're gonna put on some foundation. I got way too much out because it was at the point where it wasn't really coming out at all. So I was like real squeezing it and it all came out. So, mixing the Juvia's Place foundation and the Clinique Moisturizer. I really don't know why these videos are always like such a crap show. I guess that's just my brand. Like I guess if it was normal and it was like nice and put together, it just wouldn't be me. I guess it also wouldn't be as entertaining, but I don't know. Some people's kids. This is also the first time in forever that I've actually done like nice um, 
like take your time put together full glam because recently I've just had not the time or the energy or the means to do full glam or like put together makeup and even if I have done like makeup it's just been like quick and thrown together and whatever because I've just been very busy which I'm very happy about I'm glad that I've been like doing all this stuff and going here and there and everywhere but at the same time it's just been crazy the past like um Oh no, the past while has just been very crazy. A lot of traveling, a lot of like, we literally in July, and I'm not complaining, like I'm literally so happy about it. It's just been crazy, I'm just telling you. In July, we went the 13th through the 20th, we went to the beach, okay, Myrtle Beach. And then uh, when we came back on the 21st, we went to a tractor pool. And then that weekend, we went um, to a concert, an upchurch concert. And then like the next week, we left on like a Thursday and went to Virginia. And then we came back on like a Monday, went back to work for a little bit, a few days. And then, like, the week after that, I think, was when I went and stayed with my sister. And then... This weekend that just passed, my sister came and stayed up here and we did stuff. So, yeah. My life has just been a whirlwind lately. In a good way. I mean, we have just been super busy and like again traveling is my favorite thing in the world makes me so happy it's all i want to do so i'm definitely not complaining i'm so thankful i'm just saying you know it has just been crazy so i'm trying to get trying to get my crap back together get my life back together <laughs> I still have my suitcase sitting here that probably still has things in it from the first trip because what happened was put stuff in for the first trip, added a few things for the second trip, took out and added a few things for the third trip. So like, I've still been living out of suitcases for however long, who knows at this point. I've just been living out of suitcases for the, pat for the whole summer basically since July. Whoops. So yeah, I still need to like completely unpack everything, wash everything, organize, put away everything. It's just, I don't know, it's crazy. I'm starting to feel like a singer or someone that went on tour. Like I've just been here and there and everywhere. <laughs> So yeah, there's that. I'm gonna apply some more and then we're gonna do powder and then we're gonna get on with the makeup. All right, so I sort of forgot about the video for a second, but I just did bronzer and blush. And now I'm gonna do highlighter. I'm gonna use the Maybelline Master Holographic. And then I'm gonna do lips, bottom eyeliner, bottom mascara, all that, all that jazz.
All right, now we're gonna try the peel off lipstick and lip liner. First thing I'm doing is the lip liner. So I just get some on the throwaway applicator and whoops, I may have to do two till I get it done, but basically just line your lips. All right, and I'm gonna do the top. And then you basically just let it sit until it dries and peel it off. I think you're supposed to leave it for 20 minutes, but I know all the times that I've done it, I've only done it until it's dry and then I just peel it off. I'm gonna try and leave it for a little longer today because I feel like I usually don't leave it on long enough. Whoops. That's the only problem with this is if you do mess up, it's kind of hard to fix it. Unless you just wipe it all off and um, start over, like wipe it all off with a makeup wipe and start over, but who really wants to do that? So here's what it looks like when it dries, you just um, peel it off. I usually just kind of move my lips so it'll peel off. It usually, most of it comes off pretty easy. And then whatever doesn't come off, you can just wipe off. You can also get like a Q-tip or a piece of toilet paper or whatever you got and wipe it off. Just do that to wipe the extra off. And then we're gonna do the lipstick. So this is the lipstick. It starts out like, which is crazy, but um, it starts out like this vibrant blue color and then it dries and you wipe it off. It dries and you wipe it off and then it leaves like kind of a brown color. Thank you for the love. 
All right, so that's what it looks like after you wipe it off. And then you can put whatever you want on top. I'm just gonna put clear lip gloss on top. and it'll last basically all day. So even when the gloss or whatever wears away, the pigment and the lipstick or whatever will still stay on. So that's awesome. And then I'm gonna do the bottom eyeliner and mascara and then we're gonna be done. Okay, so the makeup is all done and I'm gonna do my hair quick. And then we're gonna be done. all right y'all there's the finished look thank you for watching and make sure you subscribe and i'll catch you in the next one